how much crow do you need to become a crypto millionaire we're gonna take a look at this a lot of people are discounting crow and not even thinking about it because it had so many bad press a lot of questions about reserves for their exchange and in this video we're gonna take a look at everything and make a prediction as to what could happen with crow so right now we are sitting around six cents and if we take a look at a seven day chart we've obviously seen the entire crypto space pump and chronos has done so as well going from about five and a half cents to now about six and a half cents but if we take a look at its all-time chart we are literally back around the late 2020 to early 2021 prices and this is actually very interesting because if you really think of it do you believe that crow does not have any potential to go back up from these prices if we just take a look at the previous bull run this thing went all the way up to about 80 cents now that was absolutely crazy at that time everything was going up but what's not to say that crow can't go back near those prices in the next bull market so obviously it's all about risk to reward ratio right now as i said the price of crow is literally around five and a half cents six cents and we can see that that basically correlates to the prices of crow before that previous bull market now if we take a look in terms of market cap i really like to look at the market caps because it gives you an idea of exactly how much this company is worth and during the last bull market this thing went all the way up to 22.7 billion dollars worth of market cap and right now we are sitting around 1.6 billion so definitely lower about 20 times lower so it's obviously possible that this company could go back up will it go back up to the previous all-time high i am not sure but let's take a look at the news surrounding chronos so the first thing i like to look at is whether or not people are using this chain and if we go on to the chronos explorer if we go take a look at the daily transaction chart obviously we do see a downtrend in daily activity on this chart now of course we've been in a bear market ever since 2022 and we kind of see that peak where everything went crazy in the bull market and then everything started going down and we do see that the daily transactions have continued to go down now in my opinion as chronos continues to build out this ecosystem i do think we are going to find ourselves in a bottom of daily transactions and within the next bull market we are probably going to see another peak on daily transactions so that's one thing i am looking at and the next thing i want to look at is whether or not we're seeing an increase of users and addresses on the chain so as we take a look at this if we go from the beginning of chronos we can see that we have basically had a constant growth of people having access to the chronos blockchain and utilizing this chain because we can see that the addresses and unique addresses are actually still going up so this is where i believe that when the next bull market comes and we see the price of chronos potentially go up we are going to see more and more activity activity on the Kronos chain and thus increasing the price of Crow. Now, if we go ahead and we talk about the key partnerships that Crypto.com has been able to make over the last few years, a lot of people are actually looking at this in a negative light because Crow is probably spending a massive amount of money for all of these partnerships. Although that may be true, we have to understand that sponsors and partnerships are key for crypto adoption worldwide. And if we take a look at some of their key partnerships, we have the Crypto crypto.com arena which hosts the los angeles lakers the la kings and the los angeles clippers they were actually a fifa world cup partner that's absolutely insane if you think about it obviously we know they're a ufc sponsor the philadelphia 76ers sponsor as well as well as the paris saint germain club so they are basically everywhere right now so of course they've spent a ton of money on all of this and that's one of the reasons why crypto.com got so much bad press but another reason was about the crypto.com exchange and whether or not they had sufficient reserves now there's been a few discussions
discussions about that. And Chris, the CEO of Crypto.com, has reassured people that all the assets on Crypto.com are backed one to one with these reserves. So everything should be okay there. Now, oftentimes people associate Crow with Crypto.com with the centralized exchange, but they forget that Kronos is actually a decentralized asset as well, where a bunch of different dApps and decentralized apps are actually building on top of this project. So as we take a look at DeFi Llama, just to get an idea of the total value locked in Crow, we can see if we go back in time all the way to the peak of the bull market, there was about 3.21 billion dollars in terms of tvl in us dollars that's a crazy amount of money and if we take a look at what it is now it is sitting around 37 it is sitting around 374 million so literally right now, there's about 10 times less money invested in Kronos in the ecosystem and in their total value locked, there's 10 times less money in there. So what's not to say that come the next bull market, Crypto.com and Kronos could regain the same amount of TVL, if not even surpass that as we've seen, the user base is still growing. Now, if we wanna compare that to the top blockchains, we can see that Kronos is sitting in the top 10 right behind Solana, Phantom, Optimism, Avalanche, and of course we have Ethereum at the very top. But this also goes to show that Kronos has been literally beaten down. It's down over 90% over the last bull market peak. So again, at this stage, there is a lot less risks investing in Kronos because the upside is much more potential than the potential downside. But of course, nothing I say here is financial advice, but these are the risks I am willing to take. Now, the last piece of information I wanted to give you on Crypto.com and Kronos, we can take a look at their year in review. So for 2022, what have they accomplished? They've basically grown to 70 million users, which is insane. They've been able to get regulatory approvals in nine tier one jurisdictions. That's awesome. And we have all of them displayed here. And another reason I personally like Crypto.com is because I use it in Canada and it's actually one of the exchanges that I can use. Now, as we've said, they became the first crypto company to partner with FIFA World Cup. They've gained more industry first security certifications and they've introduced 64 new features in the crypto app. They've launched Gen 3.0 Crypto.com Exchange and they featured over 1.4 million NFTs on their own NFT marketplace. So all of that brings me back to crypto.com's price and crow's price currently as i said we had a bull market cap of about 22.7 billion let's say that in the next bull market we could see a similar market cap or let's just assume that we reach a new all-time high of about 30 billion in terms of market cap i know the current circulating supply is around 25 billion they are still printing more crow all the way up to 30 billion and that comes from staking rewards and their validator nodes so be aware that the max supply of crow is 30 billion and right now they are at 25 billion so it is still inflating but keep in mind that crow is also the gas being used when you interact on the blockchain so if we assume a circulating supply in 2023-2024 of about 26 billion crow and we assume a market cap of 30 billion in the next bull market so if we go ahead and we do that calculation we have 30 billion divided by 26 billion that's going to give us the price of one crow and if we assume that this happens that would basically give us a dollar 15 per crow price now obviously that is a crazy number from the current price of crow but like we've seen in 2021 this thing was literally trading around the same market cap and it literally went parabolic and if we want to know 
know how many crow you would need to have in order to make $1 million with the next bull market. If we go ahead and we do $1 million divided by 1.15, that would mean that you would need about 870 Kronos in order to make $1 million if the price of crow reaches $1.15. And if we take that into account with the current price of Crow, that's about a $55,000 investment in the current price of Crow. Now, of course, you can make your own predictions. And let's say instead of 1 million, you would want 100K. Well, that would mean a $5,500 investment right now. And that's much more reasonable in my opinion. But of course, everybody has different financial situations. Nothing here is financial advice. We are gonna have to wait and see the next bull market what happens to crow but like i said it is down bad and who knows what the next bull market can bring so with all of that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you guys in my next video peace